The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate whether a placebo intervention on motion sickness affects subjective outcome measures only or also affects behavioral and objective measures. This is accomplished by using a balanced placebo design with a rotation chair paradigm. In the balanced placebo design, BPD for short, the study group is divided into four subgroups. Half of the participants receive the real drug and the other half receives a placebo. Half of the participants of each drug group receive the correct information and the other half receives the wrong information about the drug received. With the BPD we can investigate the effects of a drug compared to a placebo and the effects of expectations by verbal information. Before and after the rotation procedures, the participants are asked to rate a list of subjective symptoms that typically occur during motion sickness, such as vertigo, nausea or headache. Ideally, the rotation procedure consists of five runs of two minutes each, with one minute breaks in between. Behavioral measures such as the number of head movements and the total rotation time tolerated are assessed. The gastric myoelectrical activity is objectively recorded with electrogastrography. EGG. After the rotation procedure, the outcome variables are calculated. The EGG data is screened and analyzed to detect shifts from normal gastria to tachygastria. Prepare the drugs used, a table to fill in rotation times and the number of head movements during the runs of the rotation procedure, a questionnaire to fill in the symptom ratings of the participant, headphones, and an eye mask. Prepare the equipment for recording the EGG, cutaneous electrodes, the EGG device with FETRO technology, and a stopwatch to assess rotation times. Place three cutaneous electrodes on the skin above the stomach of the participant. Place the first electrode on the lower third of the midline between the umbilicus and sternum. Place the second electrode in a 45 degree angle upwards from the first electrode, but under the lowest rib on the left side. Place the third electrode, the reference electrode, in a 45 degree angle downwards from the first electrode to the right side. Connect the electrodes to the EGG device. Seat the participant in the rotation chair. Start the recording software and store the EGG device in a bag at the back side of the chair. This is important to prevent the cables from getting entangled. The first baseline assessment is taken before drug intake. Record at least 15 minutes of EGG previous to any intervention. Instruct the participant not to move, speak or take deep breaths during this period of time. According to group assignment, the participant takes the pills, drug or placebo, without receiving any information about their content. The second baseline assessment is taken after drug intake. Record at least 15 minutes of EGG after drug intake. Instruct the participant not to move, speak or take deep breaths during this period of time. Afterwards, ask the participant for seven symptoms of motion sickness on a scale between zero, no symptom, to five, severe symptom. The symptoms are vertigo, headache, nausea, urge to vomit, tiredness, sweating and stomach awareness. Immediately before the rotation procedure, inform the participant about his group assignment according to the balanced placebo design, that is, if he received the real drug or the placebo. Instruct the participant to move his head up and down when he hears the beep tone from the earphones. Participants should not vomit during the procedure and can skip head movements or tell the experimenter to stop the rotation at any time if they strongly feel an urge to vomit. 
The participant will wear an eye mask and earphones and hear a beep every 10 seconds. Confirm that the participant is ready to begin, then start the rotation procedure. The rotation procedure consists of five runs, each with two minutes of rotation at a constant speed of 120 degrees per second and a one-minute break in between the runs. Count the head movements. Right after the rotation procedure, note the rotation time of the run and the number of head movements. Immediately after, ask the participant to rate the seven symptoms from 0 to 5. Note the rating on the questionnaire. If the participant does not object, repeat the process five times. In order to get comparable results, it is important to stick to the same interval of runs and breaks. After the last run is finished and the subjective symptoms have been rated, record another 15 minutes of EGG, during which participants should not move, speak or take deep breaths. Calculate subjective symptom ratings by adding the scores of each symptom for each of the six time points, at baseline and after each run separately. Calculate the maximum symptom rating. Add up rotation times for the total rotation tolerance in seconds. Add the number of head movements during the rotation procedure for the total number of head movements. Visually screen the raw EGG data for artifacts and select at least five minutes of artifact-free recording during the recording periods. As a rule of thumb, artifacts are defined as signals with fast and sudden onset and signals stronger than 1000 microvolt because such signals are improbable gastric myoelectrical activities. Use a fast Fourier transformation software to analyze the frequency domain of the EGG signal. Calculate the percentage spectral power of the normogastria and tachygastria bands from the total range and compute the EGG ratio. A shift towards tachygastria, that is, a decreasing ratio, has repeatedly been associated with nausea in motion sickness induced by rotation chair or vection drum. The conducted study showed that the information given did not significantly affect the EGG ratio but results provide hints that the information could have had some effect as the placebo group had the lowest EGG ratio and the ginger group had the highest EGG ratio. Yeah, the main results of this study was um, in this balanced placebo design um, that we found no main effect of ginger or placebo, but we found an interactional effect with the gender of the experimenters and the participants. So in male participants, we found an effect when they got the ginger information when it was given by the female experimenter. So this was a really um, interactional effect here. The main advantage of this method is that we have different kind of measures. We have a very objective measure, the EGG, the electrogastrogram, um, but also subjective measures. This method thus provides the possibility to assess the main and interactional effects of drug and information, as well as the multivariate assessment of placebo responses.